Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an Android app without writing even a single code using MATLAB Simulink. In my previous video I have explained how you can download and install MATLAB Simulink toolbox for Android app creation. You can find in this video description the link in order to show you how to install, to, how to download and install MATLAB Simulink toolbox for Android apps creation. Now, after downloading the toolbox, how you can create your first step? Of course, we're gonna go to the Simulink. Now, in Simulink. I will choose blank model. Okay, so I will go to Simulink library. In the Simulink library, here you can find Simulink support package for Android devices. I will choose it. So, since this application, it will be like a general one or, or a Hello World application. It will be without any specific uh, target, so it's only to show you how you can create an Android app using MATLAB Simulink. So I will assume that I want to see the camera. Here it is. And since the camera is an input, I need the video display to be as the output. Also. I want a light sensor. The light sensor I want to display it in data display. Also I need the accelerometer. I will display the X, Y, Z here. So I will add one, two, three. I will go back. So here is the camera. Here is the Android accelerometer, light sensor, three input blocks. Number one, two, and three. And here is number four. So simply can connect them. So, after connecting the input blocks with the output blocks, you have to save your model. There is one note you have to keep it in your mind that MATLAB Simulink cannot compile your model if it's available in a folder with spaces. For example, here my default working folder for MATLAB is C program files. Program files, here it has a space. So you will get an error during the compilation. So I'm going to save it in a place, for example, and directly here on the scene. Let's assume I have a folder. I will create a new folder, for example. And I will call it MATLAB Android. Here, my model, it will be, for example, test and draw it, and I will save it. So, after saving the model, you have, in order to get the exact parameters of your mobile, uh, what I want to say, unfortunately, MATLAB and Simulink, they are not creating a general application, they are creating a specific application depends on your mobile or Android device specification. So in this case, if you want to create a general model and distribute it, maybe it will not work in all models. So in this case, in order to get the exact, for example, if you will go to the camera, here you can see the resolution back. This means the default it will be the back camera with 640 by 480. 
this is the only option if you will try to make a refresh nothing will be updated so in this case I'm going to connect my device here and my device is uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so make sure that Windows has recognized your mobile so again I will go to this block I will make a refresh here after the refresh you can find that there is a back camera and front camera so I will use that back camera with the highest resolution and regarding the sample time the sample time in order to get a smooth video I will choose for example a sample time of 0.001 I will save it then I will go to accelerometer I have the sample time 0.1 which is acceptable here the display the display it is it's going to be shown in your application so for example I will call it accelerometer X here accelerometer Y here accelerometer Z and the light sensor the sample time I will keep it as it is and here light data I will save it now let's say that my model is complete but just I have to configure it so I will go to model configuration parameters first of all I will go to the soil power solver since the application I want it to be run forever so I will choose rather than stop time 10 seconds it will be infinity and this it will be a fixed step since we are uh, dealing with a digital model and discrete no continuous data then I will go to the hardware implementation hardware implementation here I will choose Android device so device details from the build option you can find build load and run this means after building the model it will be loaded to your Android device and it will be run automatically in your Android device so I will keep it as it is then I will go to the code configuration here for the build configuration faster builds actually I'm not searching for a faster build so I'm searching for a faster run here let's say about uh, the objectives these are for example the objective for me when MATLAB is going to create my application I want that execution efficiency to be the highest priority then I need the RAM efficiency then I need the ROM which means the space of the application this is what I'm searching for it right now so I will save it I will say OK I will save my model again so right now my model is ready to be built I will go to the deploy to hardware now here since it's already started I can see the whole details and, uh, this series so here I got an error Android build tools do not support folder name that names spaces yeah this is the reason that is still in my MATLAB folder I didn't change it I saved the model there but I didn't change it so see Android MATLAB Android I can see it here Again, I have to build it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is system check. So now it's in building stage. 
after finishing building the model it will be downloaded to my device because currently my Android device is connected here we go it's successful accomplishing of build so right now you can see the application I'm going to show you and here is the report so I'm going to show you how the application is running on my Android device here is the application I can find the accelerometer X Y and Z and light data and the camera is almost smooth I'm going to scroll it to the info I can find some general data about the application so actually here is the test Android here is my application